I am fairly certain I have made this video every year for the past two, three years, but I don't care. I'm going to make one yearly because Final Fantasy XIV is definitely within the top three Final Fantasies for me personally. It's a second, spoiler alert, there may be an upcoming top ten Final Fantasies video and... That's actually a second entry right there, but not only is it my second favourite Final Fantasy, and in my opinion, one of the best Final Fantasies ever made, it is in my opinion, mine, remember, my opinion, that Final Fantasy XIV is THE premium MMO, and the only one you'd need ever play. I tried going back to World of Warcraft, I really did, I like it to a point, and then unfortunately I get bored and the game has aged, and that's understandable, you know? It came out in the very early 2000s, it was amazing for a long time, there was of course a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes crap, but apart from that, I've tried it, I went back, I did my bit, and unfortunately, it didn't stick. But Final Fantasy XIV, absolutely love. The gameplay is solid, the graphics are beautiful, the stories are, are amazing throughout. Not so great with the base game in A Realm Reborn, but stick with it. And as soon as you get into Heaven's Ward and through Stormblood, this footage here is me playing through Stormblood. I accidentally buggered up my account, uh, my original account, where if you look back on my other videos, obviously I got a different character and uh, I got, you know, I beat Endwalker and I was in the end game and I put hundreds of hours into it and I lost all of that because Square Enix implemented something. I can't remember if it was the beginning of this year, maybe last year, but anyway, you had to link your Steam account to your Square Enix account and I buzzed up somewhere and I had to make a new Steam account and a new Square Enix account, link them together so I have a Steam account that I specifically use to play Final Fantasy XIV. However, <laughs> I had to buy the game again and I don't, I really don't care and I'm playing through it again and again, I, I don't mind. Now, this game is worth full price. You can get the entire game for £35, and for the amount of content you get, that's a steal. You do obviously have to pay for a monthly subscription, but the way I pay is, I think it's 25 quid every three months, so in all honesty, I don't miss that at all. It just comes out and jobs are good in. But you do get a month free, but you can also play the free version of the game throughout the base game, and the first uh, expansion, Heavensward, and get up to level 60. So I would highly recommend doing that before you then make a purchase to get the rest of it. Just be aware that if you do that, you can't play PvP and you can't play with friends, which is bizarre. But you, you can, and you can't access the in-game market board either. So there are limitations, however, but you can pretty much play everything. Uh, besides those few things in the free version of the game. It's standard for an MMO. There are side quests, there are main quests, there are the, the quests that are, are like blue with a plus marker, which I highly advise just doing those. The side quests you can do if you want to, if you want to do absolutely everything, you can. But you can do, uh, but the, the blue ones with the plus icon, they unlock dungeons and uh, abilities and uh, all manner of things that they unlock and they progress so they're well worth doing eventually you'll unlock the palace of the dead which is an insane tower when you get through floor after floor and clear it and earn rewards it's pretty cool you can unlock no end of mounts even a crossover with the monster hunter so you can get the rathalos mount and rathalos gear and you can get a palico as a minion to follow you round there's also the minions, There's the, also you can have a chocobo fight with you, so you can rank up your chocobo, that's pretty cool. Uh, all the different mounts you can unlock are pretty, uh, are pretty awesome, you can get them all for free. You can spend real money on the Mognet if you want to get any extra ones, it's entirely optional, but an, unlike World of Warcraft, it doesn't make you feel like you have to uh, partake in those. <laughs> I definitely will not and, and have not. Oh, actually, no, tell a lie. I did, on my first account, I bought the Flying Cloud that looked like the Flying Nimbus from Dragon Ball Z, but that was a must. I mean, come on, honestly. If you had a chance to get a Nimbus, you're going to do it. Or even that, a Nimbus 2000, you know, the broomstick. Get that too. It's all cool as long as it's nerdy. But there are an absolute ton of dungeons and raids and all the PV... I don't really do PvP, uh, but it's, there's plenty of PvP content there. 
there is so many different jo uh, jobs that you can play or classes that you can do. I'm currently rocking a machinist where I effectively get a gun. I unlocked a gun breaker, but that's a tank and I'm not used to playing a tank. I'm used to playing DPS. So for the time being, I'm going to stick with machinist until I eventually get the reaper class. And then I'm going to be a reaper because let's be honest, if you're wielding a scythe, you're instantly cool. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, seriously, I cannot sell this game enough. It has no end of content. The music is also phenomenal and so many callbacks and enemies and references and musical cues and all sorts from uh, past Final Fantasies. Also, if once you are subscribed for X amount of time to them, you, they give you like Cloud Strife's clothing so that you can uh, use the glamour prisms so you can have all the stats of the armor that you want but make it look how you want but you can make it look like clouds you can make it look like squalls as well you eventually get squalls from final fantasy 8 of course the gun uh, the gun breaker comes from looking you know with the gun blade from final fantasy 8 so that's pretty cool and there is just stuff there's and 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 with this game seriously i cannot sell it enough i can't talk to you about it enough i've gone on for over six minutes already I don't want to make this video too long because I have made several others. If you are looking for an MMO to play, or if you've been playing MMOs and you just want a new one to get into, Final Fantasy XIV is the one. Of course, that does not automatically mean that it is for you. You may play it, try it, it might not be for you. And that's unfortunate, but at least you gave it a go. But I can 100% guarantee that if you love Final Fantasies and MMOs, You'll find something here for you. Final Fantasy XIV is great and not an MMO for weebs, as some people may call it. Absolutely not. It is Final Fantasy through and through, and that's all you need. But let me know in the comments down below if you've played Final Fantasy XIV, or if it's a game that you've been checked, looking at getting. I recommend getting it full price, or if it's on offer, that's an instant buy right there. But like I said... There is the free version. I highly advise you giving that a go if you are still unsure. But thank you very much for watching.